turtle sponsorship program started back in late 2006. Uh, what, we st what it started off with was a way to, to get more community involvement in the breeding of the turtles here at the turtle farm. We had a corporate and an educational sponsorship program. We approached the schools and we suggested to them that they can get a classroom together and they can sponsor a breeding turtle. They give it a name, they'll get pictures of the turtle to hang up and every month the turtle will give them a message of the month like uh, keep our beaches clean, things like that. They get a free visit to the farm to see their turtle and it was just a way for them to get a little more intimately involved with the animals that we have here. From that it expanded into a corporate sponsorship program where we approach companies like CUC and Deloitte and their donations are to help sponsor the research aspect of the turtle farm. Most of the, the analysis, for example, has to be done overseas. So we partner with places like uh, University of Exeter in the UK and University of Georgia. So when we do things like uh, we're looking at nutritional analysis of the feed, we're looking at eggs, why some eggs hatch and some eggs don't hatch, you have to send the materials overseas to be analyzed. And yeah, that, that's expensive. We have 500 breeders in the breeding pond. We actually have a photo gallery of about 15 of them. These are the ones that are very distinguishable, very easy to recognize from the color patterns in the shells and so on. And uh, those are the ones that we put up for adoption, so to speak. For the visitors, you can adopt a turtle anywhere from $100 to $200 a year. And what that does, there's a, there's a list of turtles that are, say, group sponsored. So for example, there's one called Submarine, and Submarine has about maybe three or four sponsors. And they get the same thing. They get a nice little, nice picture of the turtle, a profile and background. If the turtle does any activity, like right now it's nesting season, if the turtle lays eggs, we send them a congratulations card. We believe that people actually want to help because when people come here, they see the turtles, they love the turtles, you know, they can pick them up, they get that nice, what we call a warm fuzzy feeling, and they want to do something, but they don't really know what to do. This way allows them to actually make a direct contribution. They can volunteer if they like. They help clean, weigh, measure, do all that kind of stuff. We started with the turtles because that's, that's an easy program to start with, but we want to expand into the other animals that we have here. We have sharks, we have, we have fish, we have birds, we have iguanas. The blue iguana sponsorship, for example, sponsorships that go to our blue iguana will go to the blue iguana recovery program. And we also have a crocodile in the back there. This is an animal that was the first crocodile to be seen in Cayman since the 1950s. We need a substantial amount of money to build a proper enclosure that meets international standards, not just for not just for display, but for also for safety for the animal and for the people. To find out more information, you can visit our website, which is www.bostonsbeach.ky.